moving on from BMW, I um, subjected the the problem to the relatively new uh, approach of finite element analysis and optimization. And it was interesting. So the, the basic uh, problem was to say, okay, here's a, here's a shape of arbitrary, uh, actually symmetric shape. You know, it could be a cone, it could be a rectangle. Um, and we let the software predict the breakup frequency and see what shape would give us the highest first breakup with a carbon fiber ring and a thin aluminum dome. And it was really obvious when, when the result, when the computer spat out the result and uh, plotted it on a bit of paper, we just looked at it and thought, oh my goodness, that's a catenary. And that's really interesting because it, the optimum for a static construction, like a, a cathedral dome or something, uh, is to have a catenary shape with peripheral stiffener. The fact that it turned out that the optimum for a dynamic uh, dome, uh, a, a loudspeaker dome, happened to have the same shape was actually, you know, it, it's not necessarily obvious. But once we saw it, it's like, ah, dawning of recognition. I can show you a catenary shape. This is a classic catenary shape. Um, we have a, a chain here. And the, this is a whole family of curves which are generally known as a catenary, uh, catenoidal, you know, I think uh, Latin roots for chain catenary. So if you see, if you remember, just bear in mind that shape roughly there, and then you compare it to the shape of one of our actual D50 domes there, you'll see that they are approximately, well, they're actually very exactly the same.